Thanks for joining us on this Thursday night. I'm Phil Aldrich. Today, the South Dakota Department of Corrections and the Attorney General's Office are reviewing the details of what led to Wednesday night's unrest at the state penitentiary in Sioux Falls. One correctional officer was rendered unconscious by an inmate in the altercation. Beth Warden has more from Governor Kristi Noem on that matter. Governor Nome brings clarity to why the messaging and calling services were disabled. There's an ongoing investigation as to how those tablets were being used. There still are options to make calls using hallway pay phones. The prisoners are still able to make phone calls and they are still able to write letters and have communication with families. So we made sure that all of that was maintained and sustained while that investigation goes on. Megan Kress misses frequent calls from her boyfriend, Isaac. The payphones don't always work and are not as easy as described. They have to sign up for a list. If they make that list, then maybe they can call. This correctional officer just left for another job. You get officers that are overworked and you know, they're, they're getting tired and they're getting stressed out. Gnome voices hope for inmates. Get a skill and a trade while they're there so that when they come out of incarceration, they have the chance to provide for their families again. But some wonder how this will happen. Trustees losing outside nonprofit jobs due to DOC changes. The closure of Metalcraft Industries and major cuts to Pheasantland Industries on site. Frustration of commissary limits cut in half. And the final straw, removal of calling or messaging with the tablets. They have nothing but time to sit there and watch, watch how the officers do their jobs. And they learn that. And unfortunately, at this point, it seems like they found a weak spot. Will the tablets be returned? We are going to find out if it's possible to give tablets to these prisoners and not have them be used for nefarious reasons. In Sioux Falls, Beth Warden, Dakota News Now.